Alrighty, we're back again with trying to get uh, Stuart, my new 84Z28 to fire up. So um, this thing is a wiring mess. Um, as you can see, anything from the heater core or the, you know, the blower to uh, just about anything you can think has been deleted or just kind of wrapped up in front of the corner. So, you know, I have random wires, you know, like this. I'm pretty sure this actually used to run to the starter to a switch button. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that there. So what I did was I cut up the wires that were ran into the car for the switch gate or for the, for the push button because they're not hooked up anymore. They're just sitting in the center console. So cut them and I put one power, put one wire to the power and made sure the connection's good. So I have one power to the, one wire to power. And then I took this wire, which I put a piece of black electrical tape on so I know the difference between them. And I put a prong connector at the end, a single prong, and I plugged it onto the trigger, I believe that is. So what I'm gonna try to do, and I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but theoretically it should, um, I'm gonna try to put these two together with power to the battery and see if this triggers the starter to jump out. Because if I take a screwdriver, and what I've just been doing is putting those two together, power and ground. And when I put the power and ground together, oh, is that another prong? No, it's not, okay, that was hard to tell. Um, when I put the two studs together, all it does is it spins the starter, it doesn't jump the starter out. So what I'm hoping with this is when I put these two together, that it spins it and jumps it out. So if it does that, then technically this could be fancied up and put into a switch. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work, so. I don't, I don't really know much about wiring, I'll be honest with you. And it's a little difficult trying to find this on uh, this online. If I dug hard enough, I definitely could, but I don't know. We're just gonna send it and see if I can catch the car on fire or not. Thankfully it was raining, so I can just push it outside and let it, uh, let it do its thing. So uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, I don't know what I did, but maybe just from disconnecting wires that shouldn't have been there, for shits and gigs, I just put the key into the ignition it on look at that that gauge just went up and now i actually have power in here again the lights work on this thing no they're not the dome light no oh there's no dome light okay uh huh i don't know let's just give it a shot and see if something catches on fire Okay, that doesn't work. So this here, I don't know if this is gonna work. This is going to be very sketchy. I'm gonna touch those two wires together and just see what happens. So you guys are in this with me. All right, so I wasn't wrong. That's good, let's uncover this. So let me just show you. All right, I'm gonna start the Jeep should give me enough power to get this thing to crank. Alrighty, the Jeep is loud as all hell, but let's give it a shot. Let's see if this thing will spin a little higher RPM. It looks like we have fuel. Oh, it's smoking. All right. That's not good. Alrighty, so went and got a brand new battery, tossed that baby mama in there. Still have my two jank ass wires hanging right here. So I was just gonna put like a rocker switch in. Um, I think I will use this, oh, I think I will use this whole panel though. So I'm just gonna try to figure out this little wiring diagram really quick. Hopefully I don't blow anything up. Um, basically it looks like power comes into this switch right here. And then you, you, know, you do the little race car, you flick it up. And then you, you know, that lets power be flown to here. And then when you press this, it'll actually turn the starter. And then when you're done, I guess you just do that and it kills power completely. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm gonna do, on, you know what? Honestly, I might just, I might just do it on one of the switches. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. I don't know, but all I'm playing with right now is the, I basically just have to have this in between these two wires so that when I press the button, it does the same thing as if I zap these together. Um, and then I'll also just run a little ground cable from the battery directly to this, just so I know I have a good ground. Um, the car came with a bundle of black wire, so that worked perfectly. 
I already had these in the garage, so I'll just use these up. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Alrighty, so I ended up having the fun, fun uh, pains of, I had to get a new, I had to find a new bolt for the battery because the old one didn't want to work anymore. So I did that, had to find washers to fit that as well. So that's all good. I have my ground ran up to the back side of this. See it at the top where it says uh, those three lines and it says minus, so that's the ground. Uh, the middle wire, which has the black tape on it, is my trigger wire, which goes down to the prong on the starter solenoid. And then my positive on the diagram, uh, all the way at the bottom, which is this red wire at the bottom, runs down and goes to the power point on the uh, starter itself. So now, when I flick this button up, mind you, I didn't wire in this button or this like little thing, but when I turn this... <laughs> So you can see now we have the starter and it sounds very, very healthy. So I think, ah, uh, that's great. Oh, we have a fuel leak. That's, uh, that's nice. All right. Um, I think I have hose to fix that. So I'm going to take care of that really quick and then we'll be back to it. Yeah, I fixed the fuel line. So uh, let's see what happens, shall we? This is fucking terrifying. <laughs> Alright. Sounds good. Sounds pretty damn good so far. So I think... I've never done this before. I'm gonna try spraying some shit in the car. I've seen, uh... Yeah, which will start. I'm sure the timing's completely off. Ah, it sounds, it's cranking pretty decent though. It doesn't sound bad. So let's see what happens. It's fucking hard to get past this one. Oh, fuck it. I don't know if this is too much. My backfire? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fucking crazy sounding. Shit, this thing starts. Oh my god. Oh, thank god I got a fan on in here. Whew. Yeah, there's a good bit of a uh, good bit of runoff oil from yesterday. Probably doesn't help that there's maybe a couple leaves in there too. Oh, it's getting smoky in here. Shit. All right, let's uh, let's move the fan. This bitch. Oh, the fan's on one. I thought this bitch was on three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Holy shit, I can't believe this thing just fired up like that. Wow, cool. <laughs> Mass floor mechanic. Well, that's going to wrap up my uh, first resurrection, I guess, for uh, Stuart. So I'm going to let the garage air out a little bit more. And um, I'm probably going to unplug something. Probably I'll probably just unplug the battery just so nothing drains overnight. But uh, 
Yeah, come tomorrow. I'm definitely going to pull this thing outside and really let it sing for a while. Let it warm up and see, uh, see what it sounds like, see how it runs. But so far, so good. And also, it looks like... I'll show you what the It looks like... Uh, oh, wow. Look how much... Oh, wow. I guess there was a nest in the transmission. No longer. I guess that came out of there. That, that could have been holding me up for a little bit on starting, honestly. Oh, uh, uh, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully the clutch works, but my front main seal leak, um, has slowed down quite a bit. So honestly, I feel like the seal was leaking so bad because how much fucking water was in this thing. That'd be my guess. But, uh, yeah, my rigged up push button, new battery, oil change, um, you know, cleaning the gunk out of the heads and just throwing some fresh oil in there and putting a little bit of, little bit of oil um, through the spark plug hole just to try to lubricate the rings. So, uh, yeah, just by doing that stuff, it, as you just heard, it runs. Let's see how much shit came out of the exhaust. See all these acorns and stuff. I, I blew the garage out before I did this. So this is all new stuff, and I'm sure a whole nest is going to fly out tomorrow. But, uh... Great success for tonight. Tomorrow is another day. And tomorrow we shall hear, hear Stuart clear his throat a little bit. So.